Here are more than 20 tips and tricks that every iOS user must know in 2023. And I guarantee you guys by the end of this video, you will know more about your device than 99% of iOS users. And make sure you stay tuned at the end, we have some really crazy tricks that you probably didn't ever know about. Now we're starting with the first one. Now you probably know that on iOS, you can set a timer and you can choose stop playing. Now when you choose stop playing from here, it will stop playing your music. But did you know that what you can do is also use this for YouTube videos. Nowadays, most likely most of you guys will fall asleep watching YouTube video rather than listening to music. So if we start the play the timer right here and we go ahead and go to YouTube, you will notice that if I'm playing a video, what it will do by the end of the timer, it will actually stop playing the video, but it will also lock the device. So if you just want to watch a video and you want to make sure that your device is is locked and of course it doesn't stay playing all night you all you have to do is do that and there you go your device is now locked and has stopped playing as we all know by now the OCR feature on iOS works really good you can select text from any photo and of course copy it to your clipboard but you can also quickly send that text as a message all you have to do is just tap the OCR button right there now what you can do is tap and hold here and go ahead and tap the share button. Once you tap there, you can go ahead and send this as a message. There you have the text already have been entered there. You don't need to paste it. All you have to do now is just add the contact where you want to send it to and you're good to go. Just like that, you can send the text from any photo to any of your contacts. That might be maybe a phone number or an email, something you don't want to type or you want to make sure that you have the thing right. You don't want to make any mistake typing it. Just do that and you're good to go. On the camera app of your iOS device, you probably know that you can shoot panoramic pictures. Well, by default, once you open the app and you go to the pano section right here, it will start from here. So from the left to the right. So you will start shooting from here and just go on the right direction. But you can also just tap there and just like that, you can switch the direction of your panoramic picture and start on each side whichever one you want. On iOS you can do some pretty cool stuff with Siri, you just have to know how to ask the right question. And one of them is just knowing your password. So if you use the passwords feature of iOS and you have your password saved, you can actually ask Siri about it. You don't have to go ahead and go to the password section on the settings app. Show me my password for eBay. And as you can see, once that is unlocked, it will take me straight to the eBay section here on the, under the passwords on the settings app where I have my pass key and of course the username. I feel like since the iPhones have now no home button, the assistive touch button is not being used at all on iOS. Previously, where we used to have the old iPhones, the home button would get broken all the time. So we had to use that as a replacement but you can actually do a lot with the assistive touch button what you can do is go under accessibility go to touch here and then go to assistive touch you enable it there it is and now we have here the different actions that we can customize so let's say i want to open the spotlight search or control center or go to the home screen i can set any of these gestures right here so if i tap and hold it will take me to the home screen. But if I want to go to the control center, I don't want to reach at the top there. Just double tap the button. And just like that, we're on the control center. This is actually really, really cool. And you can do a lot here. So you will have all these different actions that you can perform using the assistive touch button right there. So let's say maybe take a screenshot. Just like that, we can go ahead and take a screenshot of a device. Volume up, volume down. You have Apple Pay there. Lock the device, lock the rotation or any of the accessibility actions here, or just launch any of the shortcuts that you have on your device. All of these can be customized on the menu here from the assistive touch. Now, while we're here, let me show you guys another thing you can use assistive touch for, and that's to have access to the spotlight search within apps. You know that there is no way to do that by default on iOS, but you can configure here a single tap or a double tap to actually go to the spotlight. So anytime you want to open the spotlight search, you don't have to go out of the app. You can do that from here. So if I just tap there, you can see I can go ahead and invoke the spotlight search. Now, another way to do that is using, of course, back tap. So if we go back here and then 
go to back tap we can choose either double tap or triple tap and again choose the spotlight search and that is another way you can invoke the spotlight search within your apps now whenever you want to turn on the flashlight of your device the quickest way to do that is using siri especially if you don't have your iphone close to you or maybe you're in a dark environment and you can't reach your phone you want to see where it's at just say the word the hey word and then ask to turn on the flashlight flashlight on and just like that it will turn on the flashlight of course you can say flashlight off to actually turn it off you probably know that on ios you can take a screenshot of a web page and it will save it as a pdf file so if i take a screenshot here of this web page i can just switch to full page and it will save the entire web page as a pdf file but did you know that you don't actually have to just save the entire page if you just want a part of that web page just click this button right here and this actually allows you to adjust basically crop the screenshot any way you like you can even do it horizontally right here so you can see it's very very easy with this tool so let's say i want to have just a first three pages just like that i can go ahead and do that tap the dump button and now i have a pdf with only three first pages of that website now here's something really interesting and in my opinion should be done by everyone head on to your settings and go to face id and passcode scroll all the way down and you will find here erase data what this will do is that it will protect your privacy and your data the way it will do that simply by deleting your data completely from your iphone whenever someone tries to enter the password of your device the wrong password 10 times after the 10th time everything on the device will automatically be deleted whenever you want to scan a document on your device don't take a picture of that document the best way you can do that on your device is by using the files app simply tap right there on the three dots and tap on scan document and all you have to do is just point like this and it will actually automatically do that and you can see it even takes a picture basically the scan automatically you don't even need to tap the button at all once it has it on frame it will automatically do everything for you now from here of course you can add maybe like different effects you can see we'll have different cool effects you can crop it if you want to you can retake it and of course rotate it as well if you don't want it you can just go ahead and delete it like that on ios we can remove the backgrounds from photos from the photos app but if you have a bunch of photos and you want to do that that will take a lot of time well you can just save those photos into a folder on the files app and just tap that button and start selecting so i can select all of these photos now all i have to do is just 3d touch on one of the photos and this will let me go to quick actions and remove the background completely from all of those photos as easy as that so there we have the four photos all with the background removed one of the most annoying things that i have to do on my device is entering an email or a phone number every time i want to maybe log in somewhere i have my email i will have to type the email all the time well there's something you can do about that go to general here and then go to keyboard what you need to do is actually go ahead and go to text replacement what you can do here is tap the plus button and make sure you enter your email right here so i just entered my email there and the shortcut that i want to use tap on save now i don't have to ever again enter my email i can just tap that shortcut and just like that once i tap the shortcut and tap on the space bar it will automatically enter my email whenever you're doing a screen recording on your device you know that you can do that from the control center tap here and it starts screen recording but tap and hold and you will see this screen right here then you will have the mic here tap on the mic and now you have the microphone turned on what this what this allows you to do is record the screen of your device at the same time record your voice as well so if you want to do a voiceover or maybe you're taking like a screen recording you want to show someone something you can just talk right on this screen recording right there so basically do a voiceover on your photos and just like that have it saved and you will have a screen recording with your own voice on it on safari the best way to save your favorite websites or quickly find them is by pinning them 
to your safari so here we have a tab all i have to do is tap and hold on it and it will show me this button right here i can tap on pin and now i have that website pinned right there at the top anytime i want to open it once i go to my tabs view i can go ahead and open it directly from there without needing to search for it again if you use the voice memos app on ios you can enhance quickly your audio so that's very very easy and it actually works so just go to one of your voice recordings and what you can do on that voice recording is tap this button right there what this allows you to do is enhance the recording from here so basically it will remove the background noises and all that stuff from your recording this works even after you have already made the recording and what you can do also is skip silence enable that and the app automatically will skip the parts where there is no talking or anything where it's just silence it will automatically remove those now here is a pretty crazy trick whenever you get a phone call and you don't want to actually answer that phone call you don't want to hang up you don't want to tap that red button because of course they will know that you did that what you can do is just go just leave the call there so if someone is calling just invoke the control center and turn on the airplane mode what that will do is that on the other side it will show the caller that the call has failed and not that you didn't hang hang on the call Whenever you're on your photos, on a photo album, and you want to quickly move through those photos, you have one open, what you can do is simply swipe here. So this bar lets you go quickly between your photos, just like that, or you can even tap on any photo you want to go directly to, or just swipe like this to quickly move between any photo. If you have ever used the Measure app on iOS, you know that it's on Imperial, so everything will be in feet and inches. Well, if you want to switch to metric, you can actually do that and it's pretty simple to do. Head on to your settings, go to Measure right there and you can switch quickly to metric. And last but not least, we have two really awesome tricks that probably none of you guys know about. First of all, head on to the Shortcuts app. Go to automations right here. If you're on iOS 16, it will be a bit different here, but just tap the plus button and then new automation. Go right here to battery, battery level, and then swipe all the way here to 100%. Now, what this will do is that when you tap next, we can search here for something really cool. We can search for play music and we can create this automation that will actually start playing a song we want whenever the device is fully charged. So search the song here. So there we have play music so we can tap on it and we can go ahead and choose like any song we want. So tap on that and we're good to go. Now we have this automation that will actually start playing this song whenever the device is fully charged. And last but not least, something really fun you can do with Siri. Did you know that you can actually play rock, paper, scissors with Siri? Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Just like that, you can go ahead and actually play rock, paper, scissors with Siri. Probably it will beat you every time, but you can actually try it out and it's pretty fun. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed all these cool tricks. I believe these are some really, really awesome tricks that will help you get more out of your device. That's it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.